Hi, my name is Tamara Ressler, and I have two sons in fourth and sixth grade. Yes, I definitely think that Two Rivers is a high quality school. And I know from the children, I know, first of all, from my own children who have become really passionate about learning, not just inside school, but uh, outside as well. Uh, they're very inquisitive. Uh, they come home. One of them likes to write stories or, as he says, create books. And he's constantly doing that. Um, the other is the is proud of his status as a serious bookworm. And, um, you know, he loves to read anything and begs to go to bookstores on the weekend. So, yeah, I'm, I'm proud. But, uh, you know, those are my kids. And I think they've been they they've had that passion instilled in them here and it's it's an expectation of this school and not just my own kids but i see it in the faces of other children as well a couple years ago uh, my parents were visiting and i brought them over here for the all-class community meeting that they have once a week and they of course got here early and we're watching the kids arrive at school. And they said the thing that struck them the most was that all the kids had smiles on their faces. They were being greeted at the door, and they looked like they were happy to be here. And I really think that that is a strength of this school. Um, if I had to come up with one word, I guess I would call it caring. You know, they really care about what they do here. Uh, no school is perfect. But when challenges come up, they work really hard to fix it here. And um, I've been really happy working with the, the administration, the teachers are terrific, and the communication we've had in the partnership is really outstanding. We applied to Two Rivers because uh, we were really attracted by the learning approach, the teaching approach, expeditionary learning, project-based learning um, that really seemed to fit our kids well. It's very hands-on. It teaches them to become learners and to be active in learning, and that was a big priority for us. In addition, we were very much attracted by the fact that there's a strong arts focus uh, throughout the school, they have drama, art, um, music at every grade level, as well as Spanish. And we uh, have an interest in international affairs and think it's really important to have that second language. So all of those things really made the school stand out to us. The way that Two Rivers engages parents in education I would best describe as a true partnership. They really want uh, family involvement in the school and there is a lot of it. There's a lot of parent support which I know that the teachers value as well. You know of course the standard things like going on field trips and and stuff like that but in addition to that um, they do look for parents who have expertise that can be drawn into the classroom to supplement some of the lesson plans. And they like to communicate and keep the families in the loop. I've been really pleased with that aspect of the school. My name is Lene Willis Lloyd, and I have two kids with Ten Two Rivers. My son, Miles, is in the fourth grade, and my son, Marshall, is in the first grade. Phil Two Rivers is a high quality school and I feel it sort of every day when I come to drop my kids off at school. It's not just the academics, it's the fact that when I bring my kids to school, they're, you know, the principals and the teachers are outside. Not only do they know my kids' name, they know my name. It's been, you know, you see that with all types of families, but also in terms of what my kids learn and how they learn it, the depth. I mean, of course, it's a given that they need to learn how to read and write and so on. But also in terms of the expeditions, the fact that they really are able to go both deep 
as well as um, they really get to spend time going in depth on particular topics and the fact that they teach me things about the thing that what they're learning in school and they really retain that over the years so if they did an expedition on Canada geese in first grade they still are recalling that when we go to a park or they see them out they see you know Canada geese somewhere so I really appreciate that about school I decided to apply and enroll my son, Miles, into Two Rivers, um, really after looking around at several schools. Um, I knew our neighborhood school was not an ideal option for us, but I looked at private schools and so on. And we happened to have some friends whose daughter went to Two Rivers, so I decided to kind of come and check it out. And I got such a great feeling. I totally remember the day that I came for my tour as a prospective parent. I remember the parent who gave me my tour. And I just got this kind of warm feeling about the school, about the program, um, about the things that they offered to the kids. And then I remember the day that I, I thought, well, I'm never going to get into the school. I don't have a sibling here. You know, the wait list is going to be too long. And I remember the day that I got the letter. It was, you know, it was in spring. I got this letter. I was like, oh, I'm sure this is my rejection notice. And he got in. And I remember calling my girlfriend and saying, like, my son got into Two Rivers. And I totally felt like this was better than getting the letter from Harvard or anything else. Because there are a lot of great colleges. But to get them at a great, you know, preschool situation, I just felt like this is exactly kind of what I wanted. You know, so it was, it was ideal. I still have the letter. School engages me as a parent in my son's education in so many different ways. I just, I feel like as a parent, I'm always welcomed in the classroom. My ideas are always welcome. So I always feel like it's a true partnership. Um, even if my son's having difficulties with a particular topic, it's very easy to talk to the teachers about that. To Also, they want to know what my opinion is, as well as to try to incorporate that into whatever the learning plan is to either we need to do a little course correction, but also just in terms of the larger community, um, I have you know done a variety of sort of volunteer projects, and I feel like the great thing about Two Rivers is, and also being a working parent, they'll sort of take you with 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 whatever time you have available. So there are times where I've been able to give big chunks of time to help. A few years ago, when we started the uh, Parent Student Association. Um, that was, you know, that was something that was really great and very exciting to kind of be involved with. And then also other times if it's just coming in and being a mystery reader for, you know, the preschool class or the kindergarten class or something like that. So it's really just a range of ways to be engaged and, they're all, and it's all great. My name is Sam Farmer. I have two girls at Two Rivers in kindergarten and second grade. I feel Two Rivers is a high quality school based on how well my children are doing in things beyond just the basics like reading and math. Their ability to think and reason and ask probing questions is really good to see. My wife and I decided to apply and enroll our children in Two Rivers after we attended an open house. And in fact, I think it was about five minutes into that open house that we decided to apply. We feel very engaged in our children's education. The teachers provide weekly updates on how they're doing. There's three parent-teacher conferences throughout the school year and plenty of other times for interaction. I'm Christina Creighton. I have one daughter in first grade here. Her name is Chase Elizabeth Creighton Wood. Um, but actually in our family, she's got five cousins who attend and they range from kindergarten through eighth grade in the middle school. Do I feel that this is a high quality school? Um, absolutely. I think that 
I'm aware of that for a couple of reasons. Um, one, you can certainly look to the statistics, uh, to Rivers ranking as a top tier school by the DC Charter School Board, um, the DCPS yearly um, acknowledging Two Rivers as a top 10 school and you know the assessment test and all of the other data indicators. Um, what I found to be a really important factor in terms of quality in the school is reflected in its teachers and administrators. And so what I found in the few years that um, I've been a parent here is that you still have teachers or parents who were part of the founding group, um, some who have left to come back recognizing that um, there's a unique quality the Two Rivers has to offer. And while um, it's important that we continue to grow all of our students and we continue to reach high rankings, I think it's equally important that um, the foundation is being built around our expeditionary learning model, uh, the focus on the arts and humanities are factors for me that would indicate the Two Rivers is a high quality school. Uh, why did I first apply and then decide to enroll? Um, although I have a first grader, my daughter has been in school since she turned three. I'm in a Head Start program at what I would consider a good school. Um, halfway through that school year, uh, recognizing that the school wasn't reflective of what I saw as changing in our neighborhood, you know, and in our city. And for me, um, the fact that my daughter spends a considerable amount of time, you know, at school and the structure here should really be reflective of what's happening in her world around her. I really sought to find a place that, you know, looked like what was happening on our block and what we were seeing at our church. And so I sought out to um, visit some places that were, you know, diverse, uh, that would be able to offer just a sense of um, community in a global sense. And so we were, I mean, the day her name was picked, I had thought I had won the DC lottery. It was just an amazing opportunity and a decision that I have not regretted since um, she started here in pre-K. How does the school engage me as a parent in my child's education? Um, I think I'd point to two examples of um, the school as a community working across its parent body as a community around education. Uh, one would be the Student Learning Support Committee, which is a group of parent volunteers whose job it is, is to advise the administration on particular curriculum, uh, resources, opportunities for field studies, which is the equivalent of field trips, um, to expose the students to the wonderful offerings around the city and just to help enrich their learning. Um, I also feel that the school support of the parents starting a parent school association, um, that process really demonstrated, I think, the administration's, again, willingness to be transparent, um, to be open, open and honest about why after seven years there wasn't a PSA, um, but the recognition that uh, we're parent partners and we're all partners in trying to be, ensure that the students here grow emotionally, socially, um, educationally. And so um, those are just two of the many examples, but I, I feel um, enriched by, again, the administration, the uh, coordination and cooperation, and certainly, I mean, the quality of teachers and the professional development that I believe is um, happening now as we're as we're shooting but you know having teachers spend Wednesday afternoon sitting down reviewing curriculum um, going through students progress um, are, all, are all things that um, I, I think are ways that the school engage the parents and I'm just excited again to, to be able to share in just a small portion of that.